Never Stop Learning, week 292. We're gonna take a quick look at compound shapes in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017. All right, so compound shapes are pathfinding functions that are fully editable. I'm gonna be using these basic shapes to show you how this works. All right, so first I'm gonna make a copy of these guys. I'm gonna hold down the Option key on a Mac, Alt on the PC, just click and drag, and when I release, I got a copy of my shapes. All right, now I need my Pathfinder panel. Over here at the top in the window menu, I'm gonna scroll down and when I find Pathfinder, I'm gonna click on it to bring up the Pathfinder panel. All right, over here on the left, I'm gonna click and drag to target these two shapes. Back in the Pathfinder panel, I'm gonna choose this option for Unite. Just click on it once and notice the appearance changes. It actually took on the appearance of the top object. If I go into outline mode by hitting Command Y, it's showing me that we actually welded those two shapes together. We don't have access to two separate shapes. We only have access to one complete shape. Over here on the right, it shows us what we started off with. All right, so Command Y to go back into preview mode. All right, now I'm gonna target these guys on the right and jump into the Pathfinder. This time when I hover over Unite, it's telling me that if I option click, it's gonna create a compound shape and add to the shape area. All right, so let's try that out. Option on a Mac, Alt on a PC, and click. All right, so the appearance changes. It took on the appearance of the top object, but if I go into outline mode, it's showing us that I still have access to both shapes independently. All right, so if I try to grab one, click and drag, the other one comes along for the ride. All right, so I'm gonna undo that. If I use my direct selection tool, I can click on the ellipse and just reposition it. All right, so I'm gonna undo that. Now, if I target this compound shape, notice over here in the Pathfinder, we have access to this expand button. So what happens if we click on this? All right, let's see. When I click on it, we're expanding that Pathfinder function. That means we're committing to that Pathfindering. So if I go into outline mode, you see it's welded in just like the guy on the left. All right, I'm gonna undo that to bring back the two shapes. Now let's say you actually wanna release these shapes. You want your two original shapes that you started off with. All right, I'm gonna make sure that your compound shape is selected. Go back into the Pathfinder panel. Over here on the top right, click on the flyout menu and then choose this option here, release compound shape. When you click on release compound shape, you get back your two original shapes and you even get back the original appearance. All right, so I'm gonna select these guys again, jump back over here, and this time I'm gonna be using minus front. Now before I click on that, notice we actually have the ellipse in the front. So that means we're gonna use the ellipse to punch a hole through this rectangle. All right, so select them both, come back over here and just choose minus front. All right, when you do the regular pathfindering function, notice in outline mode, we don't have access to the ellipse anymore, we're just left with the two pieces that were hanging out over the edge. All right, I'm gonna undo that, Command Y. Now let's use this as a compound shape and see what happens. I'm gonna option, click on that same function. All right, now what we're doing is we're actually masking away a portion of that rectangle. Command Y reveals that we still have access to both of those shapes. Now the cool thing is if I use my direct selection tool, again, you could reposition this and fine tune your design. But let's see a practical use for this. I'm gonna switch over to a different artboard that I got set up. All right, here, I actually wanna create a moon by punching a hole through it using this other circle. So I'm gonna select them both. Back in the Pathfinder panel, I'm gonna choose this option for minus front. All right, and that's pretty much the result that I wanted. But let's say my client or somebody on my team wants to make a change to this. Well, then I'd have to draw up both of those circles again and edit them all over again. So I'm gonna undo that to bring back the original circle. Let's see how this works if we use a compound shape. All right, so I'm gonna option click on this. All right, we get that same result, but this time, if uh, somebody on my team says maybe they want more of a, I don't know, sharper crest going on here, I'll just click and drag to bring this guy in. There we go, now we have less of the moon showing. All right, even less, there we go. You want more of the moon to show? You have full flexibility. And that's what I was talking about when I first said that a compound shape is a pathfinder function that is still fully editable. So there you have it folks. That's a quick look at compound shapes in Adobe Illustrator CC 2017.